this Adobe Captivate quick tip. I got a message from Harry and he asks, is it possible to put more than one audio track on a Captivate slide? Just starting out in Captivate, wondering if it can be done. Uh, yes and no, Harry, and let me explain. So if I decide that I wanted to record some slide audio for this particular slide here, I would hit my record icon from my toolbar here and then I could record myself saying something. Hello, welcome to this first slide of a brand new course. Click the next button to continue. So there I have my audio track. One of the things that a lot of people miss is that there is an additional audio track available for system audio. And normally this is recorded when you do things like video demos where you're capturing what's happening on the screen, but you can take advantage of it yourself as well. So for example, I can select just the uh, system audio track and import some audio of my choosing. So I could choose, for example, some applause and open that up. And then you'll see I have a track for each now. If I save this, it's going to place both audio files, my voice, and the applause that you that uh, that I selected here. And of course, uh, I can close this window and I can even uh, adjust the positioning of the various audio elements on the timeline there. So for example, I can have the applause appear first. and then my audio comes in afterwards. Now that's all well and good. You can have certainly two audio tracks, but one of the other things that you should be aware of, Harry, is that I can add additional audio to a slide beyond those two that I've added by attaching audio to many of the objects that you can place on screen. If I go to my properties panel for this shape object here and go to the options tab, I can add audio. And of course, that audio will occur on the timeline when that shape appears and for the duration that that shape appears on the timeline. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at PaulWilsonLD, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.